Chipotle, in and out all these awful foods. You're never eating a cheeseburger again. So I'm not sure how much it takes to burn off my Shake Shack burger, but hopefully it's not too much. I don't think it's gonna be that hard to burn off a burrito from Chipotle. And there's just something so specifically amazing about the three x three. I brought you something. Oh boy. Yes! Ooh, it's thick. This is the perfect food. Your favorite fast food is the barbacoa burrito from Chipotle, which has a total of 800. Your favorite fast food is the single shack burger from Shake Shack, which has a total of 970 calories. The 3x3 three three from In-N-Out has a total of 860 calories. Your challenge today is to burn off as many calories as possible in 45 minutes. <laughs> Put this away. <laughs> Seeing the calorie count, but then still smelling the burger, I want to destroy this burger. The boys don't stand a chance against me. I think I'm gonna crush this challenge. I'm not competitive, they can win. I'd rather have fun. I'm still better looking. I'll see you soon. Hey, I'm Matt Conrad. I'm here today to challenge Brendan, Sheila, and Fernando to burn off the calories that are in their favorite food. You didn't want just the burger, yeah, you wanted the fries. fries. Keep going. Oh. So are your heart rate monitors? Ready, set, go. One minute. I'm gonna work it. I'm gonna work it for my burger. In, jump them out, back in, jump up. Calories are really your source of energy. You never wanna just look at calories. You wanna look at where the calories are coming from and the percentage of fat that's in those calories. You were at six before, six five. I would lower it when he would walk away. He would come back and put it way higher and then he started lifting it. During the workout, I hated Matt's guts. Oh, these are the slowest burpees I've ever seen. Matt was awesome. Double the weight, pop your hips forward at the top. At random times throughout the 45 minutes, I'm just gonna bring them in and throw an exercise at them and they're all gonna do it together just to mix it up. So the body is like, hey, what's this? It's something different. They're gonna burn more than just staying in one station for the whole time. He was pushing me a little more than I wanted to be pushed. Are you praying? I'm, I'm not, okay. Let's go. I was really surprised by how much I struggled. I thought Brendan was gonna be really good. Once I saw how awful Brandon was doing, made me be like, yeah, he looks better than me and he's not doing great. I was really keeping my eye on the prize, which was the burger and fries. Sheila was just being a teacher's pet the whole time. We get it, Sheila. Sheila is dead to me. When you're actually running and trying not to die, you don't think of her. Like, I was actually grossed out by that burrito. I could not tolerate it. It was like this weird thing, this thing that I was so confident that I was still gonna want. Keep that butt down. Don't stick it up in the air. Save that for the weekend. One last time, let's go. Last 10 seconds. Fastest speed yet. Why are you below that six? Five, four, don't stop. Three, two, one, done. Keep walking around, let that heart rate come down slow. Good job, good job. I don't think this experience would have been as eye-opening as it was if he hadn't pushed us so hard. Good job. Good job, guys. You did it. How many calories did you guys burn as of right now? I'm um, at 460. 460? Um, 488. 500 and one. 500, there we go. Yay, she did. <laughs> She'll win. All right, guys, good job. How do you guys feel? It's really hard those calories. <laughs> Taking off that sauce that's on there on a lot of places is gonna save you a lot of calories. What I would probably do now is get a bowl. Just don't get the tortilla. That's probably like 100 calories I could knock off. If you're not working out as much, you wanna cut down on the carbs because you're not gonna use the energy from the carbs and it's just gonna turn into fat. I learned today that I need to incorporate that sort of exercise and it really matters what type of exercises you do. When you're not eating for hours and hours, your body's gonna go in survival mode and start storing fat. It's not bad to eat junk food because, let's be real, we have to live and enjoy life too. It's just how many times a month you're eating that junk food. I slayed during the workout. I think I deserve my burger now. 